Function generator is one of the important devices in laboratory when it comes to generating electrical waveforms like sine, triangle, square or pulses over a wide range of frequencies, amplitude and duty cycle. It can be used to generate test signals for audio amplifiers, generate clock signals for digital circuits, PWM signals for MOSFET or transistor circuits and this list goes on. In this video, let's find out if we could build one on our own. This video is sponsored by jlcpcb.com. Order very high quality PCBs for only $2 to make your projects look more professional. Even get free shipping on your first order only at jlcpcb.com. Select and drag the zip file containing the PCB design Gerber files into the web page to upload your project Gerber files. You can then use the Gerber viewer in the website to preview your PCB design and confirm that everything is alright. Then select your requirements like thickness, quantity, PCB color, etc. and save to cart. Then log in using your ID and password and check out securely to add your shipping details and payment methods. Once I place the order and after the successful payment, the package arrived within a week with a couple of freebies, a pen and a pack of LEDs as a complement. The quality of PCB is fairly very good. The board is thick enough and it is strong and sturdy. The patch and wires are tinned and the silk screen is clearly printed which helps while soldering the components onto the PCB. Before building the circuit, let's learn the principle of operation of the oscillator circuit. Here a network of capacitor and resistor. In other words, RC oscillator circuit is used. The output frequency of a RC oscillator is given by 1 divided by 2 pi RC. By varying the resistor and capacitor values, variable frequency output can be achieved. Now let us start building the circuit. The Gerber files, circuit diagram and the list of components are in the description box below. Here I am using a 12 volt DL power supply made using my homemade PCB. You can check out that video, link in the description. Connect the output of the signal generator to the oscilloscope and adjust your oscilloscope setting to the correct frequency range and amplitude scale. The DIP switch is used here to select the type of signal, sine, triangle and square. Vary the position of 100 kilo ohm presets to get the sine wave with minimum distortion. Select the frequency multiplier switch according to the required frequency range. Vary the 10 kilo ohm potentiometer to change the frequency of the signal to accurate value. The 1 kilo ohm pot is used to adjust the duty cycle of the square wave. 4.7 kilo ohm pot is used to vary the amplitude of the signal. Please check out the description section below for the list of components and the circuit diagrams. I assembled the function generator and power supply PCB on a sheet of plexiglass. I have been using this circuit for a while now for testing op-amp circuits. This is working for me very well frequencies up to 100kHz. The only downside is that you will need an oscilloscope to visualize the waveforms. 
So in the coming videos, let's build a circuit to measure the frequency and amplitude of the signals with a display for convenient use of the signal generator. Subscribe to my channel for the updates and more projects like this. However, this was a very fun project to build. Thanks again to JLCPCV.com for making this video possible.